Hi, and happy Monday. I'm Janet Leonard. I'm the founder and CEO of Virtual Instructor. And today we're going to talk about some new features that are part of Zoom. So if you are a meeting host, you might find these new features kind of helpful. All right, so let's just pop over. I'm going to, first of all, pop you over to our website, virtualinstructor.com, just in case you'd like to know what other topics we'll be talking about in the next coming Mondays. So if you click on the Monday Live calendar of topics, today we're talking about Zoom. Uh, next week, I'm going to talk about a new site that someone shared with me that we'll explore. It's called Capwing. And uh, it's for creating videos. And it looks like that the first three that you make per month uh, it, in their free version, you can actually download them without having a watermark, which is kind of neat. So we'll pop over and look at that next week. And the following week, if you're an Outlook user and you haven't been using notes, I'm going to show you some great ways you can use that. So if you want to make sure that you get a quick reminder one hour prior to the my Monday Zoom, so it's always at 11 a.m. Pacific. Then you can just sign up for our email reminder. It's the only one you get from us uh, just one hour before the meeting. All right, so let's get started. Now, in this topic, I'm going to have to pop you over into my Zoom area to show at zoom.us to show you how to set this up. And then we'll pop over into PowerPoint because I can't be on StreamYard and Zoom at the same time. All right, so I'm going to go over to zoom.us and I'm logged in as myself and um, they have a new feature if you go in there called whiteboards and real creative, it says new. So you can see it's new. If you click on it, it actually takes you over and I have one whiteboard that I created. So if I had multiple, then in all whiteboards, I'd see all of them. Then under my whiteboards, I see the same one because this is the one I created. And then I don't have any shared with me. Um, when you want to share it with somebody, it has to be within your organization unless the admin person has gone behind the scenes to allow you to share it to people outside of your organization. And then starred. Right now, I don't have anything starred. But if I have a particular one, let's say this one that I liked, I can add it to the start. So it's like a favorites thing. So if you had a whole bunch of different whiteboards, then when you go to start, you just see your favorite. And then trash is if you delete a whiteboard, it will remain in trash, I think, for 30 days and it gets de uh, deleted. So I'm going to pop you into, first of all, the one I created. Um, now, don't worry, I'm not going to make you go through an Excel if function thing. But this is kind of a good example of how you might create a whiteboard that you plan on sharing in the meeting ahead of time. So if I were going to be teaching someone how to use the if function in Excel, it's kind of nice to kind of point out to them and use like a color coded thing. So this might be the first part of the whiteboard. And in this particular one, I actually have three different pages in the whiteboard. So if I come down over here, you can see I'm on page one. If I click this little button, then I can quickly go over and show them page two. So then I could start talking about OK, in this case, our testing is we want to see if anything in cell B2 is less than cell C2. Then I can come over and go to the third one. And I've added this already in there. And I could say, OK, well, if that's true, then we want it to give them a bonus of 300. If it's false, we want it to be zero. So you can see how sometimes when you're teaching online or describing something online, it's a little difficult so to really do the same thing you could do in person with a whiteboard. So that's one example. Now I'm going to go back over to whiteboards and I'm going to create a new one just for fun. So we'll just go to new. And when I create the new whiteboard, I'm going to make it very simple for you. So you can come in here and let's just call it sample, how creative. And then you could use the pencil and you can actually, or pen, highlighter. And then I could just go ahead and and do a highlighter. I can draw a shape. And with the shape, I can change. Um, I can also type inside the shape. So I'll just put in hello. And then you can also change the size of the font You can change the color of the font. Now, when you're doing this, what I did notice was um, when you're doing the text, so I'll just put some plain text without a border around it. So 
more text, how creative. Uh, but I can't, I tried to select this and make that one color, make it purple, and then make this one another color. It's all or nothing. So in order to get the illusion of different colors, I'll make this bigger for you, then you actually have to make multiple text boxes and just kind of drag them around. Uh, but that's kind of cool. Uh, you can paste an image or you can actually click on this and bring in an image. So they've got lots of options. You've got an eraser so you can erase something. So it's kind of a nice feature. So I'll come on back over to whiteboards now. And uh, in my whiteboards, I now have two. I have my sample and then I have my if function. So hopefully that gives you an idea of some different ways that you might be able to use whiteboard. So that's a new feature that you can create them ahead of time. And then I'll show you how, they, how to actually activate them and use them when you're in your actual live meeting. Now, the other one you can do is uh, with polls. So if I go over to my meetings, then you'll notice there's this new thing called polls and quizzes. And so I created two quizzes already. One's an ice cream poll and one's a vacation time poll. And now in real life, uh, after this, I'll probably delete it because I'm not going to have that in my regular meetings. But it's just kind of fun. I have them enabled. And I'll show you in a little while that any of your polls that you enable before you start your meeting as the host, then when you want to run the polls, you actually have a little drop down and you can pick which polls you want. Now I'll go ahead and create a new one. So we'll just choose create. And now I'll go through both of them real quickly to show you. But if we go to polls, then you simply put the name of the poll here. So name of poll here. And then you have whatever question you want. Now, with your question, you can make it a single choice or multiple choice. So um, let's see. Um, uh, let's, what type of uh, vehicle? I don't know if this is going to be right. Do you want? Okay. Now, I'll change that to multiple choice. So uh, we could put in car, uh, truck. Um, bike, and whatever else I wanted to add, right? So then you can add another question here. And when you're finished, you can allow your, if you click here, if you want to know who they are, don't check this, then you can see who answered what, right? But if you want to make it so they can just answer it anonymously, then just check that. And then you can save it. And now you have the lovely name of poll here. And um, now I'll go ahead and create a new one and we'll do the advanced polling and quizzing because this one, just like before, you can name it, have whatever your question is. You have multiple choice, then you can do ma matching ranking. I'm not going to go through all this for you right now, but there's a lot of really cool little features you can do on that. And just like before, you can uh, have it answered anonymously, but you can also make it a quiz and you can set the correct answers which is kind of cool. All right, so I'm going to leave that alone, so I'm not going to save that one. So that those are two new features that you have when you go into your Zoom.us account, and you'll see it's pretty darn obvious they have the new thing here. So hopefully, if you are hosting meetings in Zoom, that will give you some ideas. Now, what I'm going to do is pop over to PowerPoint, because since I can't be in Zoom and StreamYard at the same time, when you have, and you have to make sure you've up, updated to the latest Zoom in order for uh, these things to show up. So make sure that you update. But if you're in Zoom and you're the host, you'll see polls, and then you'll also see whiteboards. So then um, I'm going to click on the second one. So if it's polls and you're running a meeting and you click on polls, then this is where you can click on the drop down and pick whichever poll it is that you want to walk. Uh, launch. And then once you click launch, then the, the participants will then see whatever poll that you launched. So that's kind of a neat feature. You can have multiple things that makes it very easy to make your meetings more uh, interactive and maybe, you know, to get discussions going and things like that. All right. Then the next one is, again, you're hosting the meeting and you decide you want to share one of your whiteboards that you created ahead of time then you can click on whiteboards and it comes up with this. So you can create a new one on the fly if you wanted to, 
or you can bring up whichever whiteboard that you want to have used in that particular uh, portion of the meeting. And then the final thing I'll show you is um, when you go to share, there is a new feature and I have not tried it out yet. I'm going to really soon. Um, but in here, you can use PowerPoint as a virtual background. So you might want to play around with that one too. Um, so I will be my next meeting coming up. I'm going to be using this as a new feature. So hopefully that gives you some ideas of some of the different things you can do when you're hosting a meeting in Zoom, just to refresh your memory, to be able to set this sort of thing up, we were over in the zoom.us. You're gonna log in there and then you're gonna see this information. Now you can also, once you've updated things, if you run the desktop version, which is the little zoom button down here, then you'll see an option in there where you can create these as well. All right, well, this is a shorter uh, Monday Zoom, but hope or a uh, Monday live, and hopefully it gave you some ideas if you're a Zoomer. And I uh, have a wonderful rest of your week, and I'll see you next Monday where we'll be talking about that new site I found, which is the uh, Cap Wing, and it's for making videos. Bye. <laughs>